Tommy Page was a winner on the football field and baseball diamonds at William Fleming High School and Ferrum College in the late 80s and early 90s. These days, he's hosting an online morning radio show in Roanoke. He has an even bigger mission, bring awareness to sickle cell disease. Anyone who remembers anyone knows me, uh, I was always dehydrated. You know what I'm saying? Cramping and different things that came with uh, the arduous uh, you know, functions of playing football, playing sports and things like that. While in college in 1993, his son John Anthony Page was born. It was at that time he discovered John Anthony was diagnosed with sickle cell disease. In fact, Tommy discovered he was a carrier of the sickle cell disease trait. And so now after finding that out, was able to go back and say, oh wow, this has been the issue with football for those who remember uh, the player years ago uh, that couldn't play out in Denver because of he had the sickle cell trait and different things like that uh, kept kind of kept me from being able to play at that next level. The same year John Anthony was born, the NCAA started to test for sickle cell. With sickle cell disease, an inherited group of disorders, red blood cells contort into a sickle shape. The cells die early, leaving a shortage of healthy red blood cells and can block blood flow, causing pain. Sadly, on January 21, 2010, Tommy's son, John Anthony, also known as Prince Charming, passed away at the age of 16 from complications of sickle cell disease. John Anthony's death was one of the big reasons in Tommy stepping up to bring awareness to sickle cell disease. People know me, I was out doing other things, the uh, music industry, different other things, uh, and, and life was, 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 was interesting for me. Life was okay, but all building up to that, I just got out of the military, whereas the main reason why I stayed in the military, and oh, by the way, the reason I went to left, I left college to go to the military because now I find my son has a disease, I've got to be able to provide for him. He's going to need health care. Page established Faith for a Cure, a nonprofit organization that focuses on the education and awareness of sickle cell disease. The organization has put on a fundraiser golf tournament. In fact, because of the golf tournament, Faith for a Cure has given out college scholarships. Also, the group has put on a blood drive. Saturday will be the third annual tribute to a Prince blood drive. Patients of sickle cell, when they're going through a crisis, a lot of times a blood transfusion is the only treatment that's for them. They'll go through a major pain crisis. I'm talking about pain crisis that's unexplainable. And so uh, it's just, it's easier to find matches uh, for those who are of African descent uh, to donate. And to this time, before we started this initiative, it just wasn't a, a common thing for us to go out and donate. Both of Tommy's sons have the disease. They're proud of their dad being a champion for the cause. It's really indescribable to think that somebody would just be uh, bringing awareness to a disease that I, that I suffer from, me and both of my brothers. I lost a brother to it. it it's really like mind blowing to see that. It's unfortunate that my son, you know, passed in order for us to really get behind it. But now on the other side, seeing the relief we're bringing to people who said before, man, no one has ever done. We've had people who now live with sickle cell said, no one has ever done anything for us. And we love what you guys do. Jermaine Farrell, WFXR Sports.